Hello again, everybody. Twilight Prince 123 here, and back once again with some more Isle of Rebirth. Yeah, I know, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft as of late. I've been on a real binge of it, but I haven't forgotten about this, so without further ado, let's get going. If I remember correctly, last we left off, providing the thing starts, there we go. Undersea City. Uh huh? Like. So, Isle of Rebirth and back in the Undersea City. Let's see what we have to do here. Ah, oh, Tektites. <laughs> Lovely. Tektites that take more than one hit. Even lovelier! I should also mention that, recently, it was Evan's birthday, the guy who created this quest, so, uh, hope you had a good one, dude. So, apparently we can't really do anything above. Let's try this way. Oh, okay, we can go down here. We do have a hammer, right? It's been so long. I just want to bet there's going to be some, have to something to do with uh, rising and lowering water levels, or maybe... No, actually, from the look of this, it looks like there's actually water channels rather than water levels. Interesting. Take those. And that makes a raft show up there. <coughs> but yeah. Looks like there's gonna be like water channels here or something like that. Well, I think we've done pretty much all we can this way, so. Only viable place to go now is this way. <laughs> Now, there's 
the question. Where do I put the key? I have a key. I've adjusted a few things already. I don't have a map yet, so I can't check. Very well, can't get over to that yet. Oh, right. Put it here. Oh god, what the hell? Mini Moculas! Ow. Mini Moculas everywhere! Oh boy. Okay, good. At first I thought this was going to be like Lost Isles. Uh, first level in that. Every time you die, you have to readjust the water level. I certainly hope not. Also, apparently it lends a truth in here. <laughs> Hold still, you. Whatever meant by this level is kind of a breather in comparison to the other ones. Which is rather ironic because usually level 6 is considered the breaking point for the difficulty. Although this place is pretty darn large. <laughs> Holy crap. And this is only the first floor. Switch, that's something at least. <laughs> oh boy. These tech types are gonna be just eh. You know, I had the right idea in hitting these guys with a boomerang. The problem is actually hitting them with it. Bear 
better yet, maybe I should just do the smart thing and do the whole leave one enemy alive and station. Yay. There's the boss room. later. It kind of seems to be the level's theme is to set things up for later. Oh hey, weren't we here before? adjusted everything properly. Hopefully. Let's check around this way again and see where it takes us. Have. 
zombies. Okay. So far, this dungeon has been pretty much a breeze in comparison. Moth hives are very resilient. Only fire and explosives can destroy them. Duly noted. Speaking of which... Of course, you had to put Bemos in an out of place spot. Hello! We all know what's in here! why Evan said in a previous comment, I'm so sorry this, is not, this entire spot exists. Because I can hardly agree with him. Uh, Eight-way movement plus ladder equals some very crummy things in ZC. I can definitely agree with that matter. Also, raft paths. Even though I barely had any trouble with them myself. Still. Okay, now we can go through here. <laughs> ah! Seriously, stupid tech tights.
Although I am apparently missing yet another key. Six. <laughs> so what I need to do first is to readjust the water level. Hmm. I know where I have to do it, but... could actually identify it, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm quite sure Evan could, but, yeah. Alright, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Let's get the water moving over here. There we go. how to actually do like a, a proper water style dungeon. So. I mean, I'm quite sure, you know, using different D maps is one way to do it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Evan used a much different method. Okay, so. Oh. Controller, what were you doing there? Seriously. Definitely not in here. But okay, it's just an arrow refill. It's definitely not there. Okay, we need to go in there. A lot of backtracking in this dungeon, but otherwise, I'm kind of liking it. It's definitely a lot more interesting than the standard water style dungeon where you just have to raise a water level to get up to a different spot it's definitely a, a bit more unique than that <laughs> You stupid thing. Ah, yes, this one. Now we got the key. See, compared to level five and maybe like level three, I think this dungeon is a little bit more straightforward with what I'm supposed to do. I kind of like it like that. I don't know why, but it seems almost like all the even-numbered levels so far have been 
the in my in my eyes that they've been a little bit of the, a little bit easier than the rest. Hopefully that'll stay true because I hear level eight's quite the whopper. And when I say that, I mean it's big. That being said, I'm actually look, kind of looking forward to that one because. That's actually a pretty big turning point in the game. Alright, I'm at full health. I have a key. Let's go and, uh... Wait, right. To adjust the water level on this side, I need to go up here. Once I do have access to that, then it'll be different. Did I ever come into this room where all the floodgates were on this side? I don't think I did. Nor did I light this torch. Okay, apparently I missed something over here. That's not the can. Alright. So apparently I missed something on this side. So, that being said, let's quickly do that. These guys are actually not blocking the path. Also, four-way ladder. <laughs> ah! Tactites! I'm really starting to hate them. <laughs> Case in point. Alright. They always seem to get right in your face when you don't want them to. Not caring. I said not caring. This this is me not caring. I got the key. I got what I came for. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. That being said, uh, yeah, I'm nearing 30 minutes on this video. I should probably cut it off right here. So I'll be right back with another part. One moment. <laughs> 